Hey guys, it's a Dividend Guy coming at you with a Robinhood portfolio update. Happy Monday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. And guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead. Make sure you do that now and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads on my channel. So for today, we're going to we're going to go uh, look at the overall dividend or the overall portfolio performance in the metrics here. Gonna look at our buying power, the individual stocks and performance, and why I added, um, and why I'm thinking of adding more insurance to the portfolio. I'm thinking about having 15 stocks instead of 10, but I'll I'll talk about the downside and the stocks that I'm actually looking at um, adding just for my mental, because <laughs> I love insurance and I feel like I don't have enough in the portfolio. So, jumping right in today, we're up uh, about half a percent, 221 dollars for today. For the week, we are up $122, up 0.3% for the past week. We are up $1,738, up 4.5% for the past month. We are up $1,888, up about 4.9% for the past three months. For the year, we are up $8,678, <clears throat> up 27.2% for the past year, and then all time, we are up $10,666, up 35.6% since April 13th, 2018. We have a buying power due to dividends of $37.39, and I'll be leaving that in the portfolio. Now jumping into the stocks, we've got Realty Income sitting pretty with 120 shares, down a bit today. Um, $8,500 worth of market value, average cost is $6,702, 21% of the portfolio is in realty income. Today we're down $92, total we're up um, nearly $495, up 6% total on realty income stock. Love realty income, this is my biggest real estate investment and it will always be in the portfolio because I love the diversification um, of the property types, of the industries. And the fact that it pays monthly, so this is um, just like getting a paycheck every single month. So I will be pouring money into realty income. Love Coca-Cola. This is actually my favorite company on the entire stock market. We have 50 shares, around $2,800 worth of market value. 5408s are average cost, around 7% of the portfolios in Coca-Cola. Down 3 bucks today, up 125 total, up 4.6% on coca-cola then i went ahead and i added pepsi so that way i have most of the soda market as well as frito-lay was the main reason why i bought pepsi and mountain dew so we have five shares of pepsi around eight hundred dollars of market value average cost is right around 157 dollars um, 1.95 percent of the portfolios in pepsi today we're down 95 cents Total, we're up around six bucks, up 0.7 percent on Pepsi. Then we've got Altria, 160 shares, $7,800 worth of market value. Average cost is 47.56. 19.2% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today we're up 55.20. Total, we're up $200, up 2.6 percent <coughs> on Altria. Then we've got Avvi. 74 shares, $8,800 worth of market value. Average cost is $80.68. Today we are the portfolio. 22% um, of it is in AbbVie stock. Uh, around $67 were up today. Total were up $2,890, up 48% on AbbVie. So nearly up 50% on AbbVie stock. Then we've got National Retail Properties. We have nine shares, $418 worth of market value. Average cost is around $47 a share. 1% of the portfolios in National Retail Properties. Today we're down 352. Total we're down 316. Love them. They have um, their main tenants are Taco Bell and Arby's, as well as um, a tire, uh, tire company and Mr. Hotshine Car Wash. So. I like their tenant mix, and I'm happy that I added them back to the portfolio. Next, we've got Procter & Gamble. They own Gillette, Bounty, Charmin, a lot of consumer brands. We only have one share, which that will be going way up. This is like my second favorite stock in the portfolio. 
We have one share, 144.62 for market value, $143 is our average cost, 0.36% of the portfolio is in Procter & Gamble. Today we're down 47 cents, total we're up 87 cents, which ironically is their dividend payment. <laughs> So next we've got Aflac stock, 115 shares of this insurance company, $6,500 worth of market value. Average cost is around $50 a share, 16.2% of the portfolio is in Aflac. Today we are up $82, total we're up $863.88, up 15% and a dividend coming in of $37.95 for all 115 shares that I own. One of the reasons that I, well, the reason that I'm interested in Aflac so much and why it's such a big position is because their dividend growth is insane. So this is one of those companies that I'm just going to pour money into. It's a lot like Procter and Gamble, um, and Pepsi. They have really good dividend increases year over year, so I want to pour money into them. So when they have like a four to five cent increase, guys, if they do if they do a two cent increase, that's two dollars a month that I'm getting extra. Every single month, it's $8 a year that I'm making for free just for holding the same amount of shares. See what I'm saying? So, like, the more you, the, the more uh, shares you hold, the bigger the increases become, even if it's only a penny or two. So, I'm going to be focused more on Coca Cola for now, um, AbbVie, or Procter and Gamble, either one, and then Aflac and then and McDonald's. Uh, once I get Pfizer to 100 shares, I'm going to pour money into McDonald's. Speaking of Pfizer, <coughs> we have 92 shares, $4,600 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $40 a share. 11.33% of the portfolio is in Pfizer. Today we're up 113. Total, we're up around $930, up almost 26%, and a dividend coming in of $35.88. So, guys, that rounds out the portfolio. Um, then we have Mickey D's at $240 dollars a share or one sorry 239 i want to get it around 220 so i'm still going to sit and wait but i'm excited to own it and i want to own it sorry i'm excited to own mcdonald's and i really do want to own mickey d's next we've got berkshire for the year they're up 36 almost 37 percent so we're 10 percent behind berkshire we are beating the dow jones and we are behind the s p so Overall, guys, not doing too bad. We're beating one of the indexes. I don't think we'll ever be beating Berkshire. <laughs> but um, happy that we are up. Have dividends coming in um, for both Pfizer and Aflac. Um, and then O will be announcing soon as well. So we will have over $100 in dividend income for the month. So that's the goal is ne for next year is about 150 bucks a month every single month. So... Um, and close to 50k by the end of next year as well. So super excited Thank you guys so much for watching my channel that dividend guy Remember to hit the subscribe button and when you do hit the bell notification so you don't miss any updates on my channel I post a Robinhood portfolio update Monday through Friday as well as I try to get a second like list video Warren Buffett video maybe a Tesla update something like that it's a second video out every single day So I'm trying to get two uploads out a day if you guys like that consistency make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another Robin Hood portfolio update. Take care.